Here's the Samsung Galaxy S6 tip for you. I'm going to show you how to manage your system sounds. So typically if we hit the volume rocker on the side of our device, we can change the volume of our device. Going down all the way, we'll put it into mute mode, then we have vibrate, and then we have a sound mode. Tapping on the settings icon here, I can change the individual volume sounds. So I can change my ringtone if we pop that back up. You notice I can change my ringtone, media, notifications, and system. So maybe I want the system sounds to go all the way down. So I'll tap on settings, make sure you're in a ringer, put our system all the way down, put notifications all the way down, but now media will still be loud and I'll have a small little ringtone. We can also come into our settings and we're gonna come into our device tab and then come into sounds and notifications. Here I can choose a few different sound options. I have sound mode, which allow me to go to sound, vibrate or mute. Vibrate will be a vibrate only, so all the sounds will be disabled. And then mute will mute everything and give no sounds on the device. And then sound will obviously give me some sound options. Now when I come into the volume here, I can adjust my ringtone, media, notifications, and system sounds. System sounds are those feedbacks like the water, whenever you unlock the screen, or maybe some keyboard clicks or anything like that. Those are going to be system sounds. You can toggle that individually. Notifications, media. So like media would be useful if I wanted to put my phone in vibrate mode, which I'm going to turn the ringtone all the way down. And now media is still accessible. So even though my phone's in vibrate mode, I can actually play media, such as YouTube, and still hear that without having to put my phone into loud, into sound mode. So that's really handy. You can come in here and customize the volume options. We have ringtones and sounds. We covered this in another video, so go ahead and check that video and article out on Daily App Show. You'll be able to change your ringtones and change some of the sounds. We have vibrations, where we can go ahead and change our vibration intensity for incoming calls, notifications, and the vibration feedback of actually tapping on the screen. We have a vibration pattern. We can change the pattern here or even create our own custom pattern. So you see I can tap to create my own pattern. It goes around in this little circle. And all the dark blues are pauses and the light blues are where it's going to vibrate. So I can create my own pattern, which is pretty neat. Sound quality and effects. This is going to be really cool for Bluetooth devices. I can use Sound Alive Plus, which is going to recreate the effect of rich surround sound and then simulate the soft trembe and tube amplifier on a tube amp here on the device. And I can even adapt the sound, which this is going to use for the phone. You're going to want to wear your earphones and find the best sound level for us to suit the device that will beep continuously, and then we're going to find the adaptive sound for our headphones. And as an added bonus, if we come into ringtones and sounds, come down to the bottom, and we can turn off specific system sounds. So if I don't want touch sounds, dialing key tone, screen locks, and keyboard sounds, I can toggle these off individually here in this menu. But that also is going to come into the volume section and the system sounds. So if I have those off already, all the system sounds are disabled. But if I only wanted to, if I wanted to have system sounds turned up, I could disable specific sounds by coming into ringtones and sounds and coming down to system. So that's a little bit of an added bonus here in this video. So that is how you customize your sounds on your Samsung Galaxy S6.